starting to draw some heat. Clearing space in your doomsday shelter already? Aren't you tired of cowering under floorboards, relying on hope and prayers? No bother. Right insulation. A good blanket. Why are you not there now? Oh my gosh, I've been talking this whole time and it's been muted. The stream's been muted. No. Oh, I've been talking this whole time and the stream's been muted. Oh my gosh. I'll go over everything again real quick. Uh, send it. Sniper rifles and scout rifles. Precision kills from both of these weapons. Uh, grant the most progress. Super kills. Means to an end. Um, Nightfall is Lake of Shadows, uh, other Nightfall, Paramidian, Arms Dealer, Scarlet Keep. Holy crap, I am so sorry, guys. So sorry. Yeah, <laughs> streams are muted the whole time, feels extra bad. It's all good though. Oh, good. Heck yeah. Be chillin' though. Didn't miss a beat, it's still the beginning. How you been though, Ken? What's up? I have. Um... It's, oddly enough, when you compare the two mobile games, it's actually worse. It's, it, the, the game itself is really boring. The, the story is really interesting, but the game itself is really boring. It, it, it's boring as heck, yes. 100% boring as heck. I'm actually severely disappointed with the gameplay. But, uh, the story itself is actually really interesting. It's just, the, the gameplay itself for Dark Road is actually terrible. <laughs> Union Cross is a whole lot better. And I don't even play Union Cross anymore. Like... Yeah, exactly! <laughs> I mean, I did the same! <laughs> I was like, this game is actually boring, for real. And then you have to pay for, like, better attacks or whatever like no I I'm I'm over it like after day one <laughs> it was dumb I'll just watch videos on YouTube for the story yeah same cuz I mean like it, it, it was a part of Union Cross so I'm just like okay it might be, like, not super great, but, like, Union Cross isn't super great. Low-key, huh? <laughs> I'm not even playing it anymore. I just have it. Yeah, I don't know, man. Honestly, yeah. I, I wish it was, too. I wish it wasn't, like, a part of Union Cross. I wish it was, like, you know, a separate standalone thing. I guess they wanted to have the same payment options, so. In the end, it I don't think it worked out like they had, had hoped. I applaud the people that are going to do it all for the story. But, uh... Yeah, no. This... It definitely does not hold my interest at all. That's my review on Dark Road. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Yeah, same. I mean, like, for, for Union Cross, I don't even play anymore. So I'm actually debating, like, deleting it. I just have it just to have it. But yeah. The Union Cross is at least a 2 out of 10. 
I spent money on that game, so I have a little bit of investment in it. But, uh... Dark Road, 0 out of 10 for sure. Boring gameplay loop. Boring gameplay in general. And... The only redeeming quality is the story. And the story's kind of locked behind, like, doing these boring kill quests. And then when you get, like, past the kill quest, you're not even, like, high enough level or strong enough to be able to do enough damage to, uh, do enough damage to be able to, like, progress through some story parts. Because I'm stuck on, like, episode 18 or whatever, all because I can't kill this stupid thing that keeps poisoning me. I have the protector guy, but like, he's not doing anything good. It's actually terrible. Yeah, and I, I, like, I, I don't find those games fun at all, <laughs> really. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the level up while you sleep. But I actually want to play the game. I don't know. Pretty sure some people like it. It just ain't for us, Ken. <laughs> it just ain't for us. And it's a shame because, like, the story apparently is, is so good. Because like, I've seen some videos for, like, the end of chapter one, and holy crap. It's actually really interesting. But I just wish the gameplay loop wasn't, like, terrible. <laughs> Yeah, uh, apparently there's like 20 missions in chapter 1. And like I, I was on chapter 18 or whatever. So I mean, I probably could have gotten there, but like, yeah, exactly. I'm after figuring out like how bad the grind actually is. Oh my, okay. I just got one shot by that guy. But uh, after figuring out like how bad the grind actually is, like I don't want to play it. You can play it if you want to, but I'm not going to play it. Don't ask me about it. <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> when Pokemon breeding is a lot more interesting than the Kingdom Hearts game, that's when you know it's bad. <laughs> See what I mean? Man. Man, oh man. That's when you know. Ah.
plugged in one die. Yep. Literally me. But I was still gonna try, you know, give the benefit of the doubt, because Union Cross wasn't extremely terrible. But and then I played it, and then I'm just like, yeah, I'm okay. And it's sad because like the concept for Dark Road was so interesting and then it fell off. <laughs> okay, these shield guys are getting on my nerve. Let me kill you. Do they actually have to be? Is the question. How close do they have to be? Right? For real though, like that's what I'm curious about as well. Like how did that happen? <laughs> like see, and that's what I'm saying, right? Like the story seems interesting. I'm actually interested in the story. The sucky part is the gameplay is just bad. People need to get them closer together. Close together. Close to. Oh my. Stop separating them. Close together. Keep them close. Come on, get them close. Close. There you go. <gasps> we got an intellect focused engram. Yeah, let's go, dude. Yes. Um. Honestly, kind of, yeah. But now I'm trying to, like, do these umbral trace things. Oh, jeez. 
menagerie. I, I've been doing uh, my means to an end thing, but if you want to join for a uh, contact so you can get yours done, that's fine. And then we can do like menagerie or something. Yeah, feel free to join. Get up in here. Below. Yeah, I'm not doing any raids or anything like that. But after after you complete your thing, though, uh, we got to do the menagerie at least like once, because I want to complete my humble traces thing for like the story. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> that there is. Uh, let me know when you're done updating. I'm just going to do Menagerie right now. Arcsin. I don't like that. I stopped the rune thing? No, that's just a piece. Dude. What do I want? Oh. Let's build another beloved. People here yet? We're loading in. Light the way, warlocks. I are an unimaginative people. I believe I can there. Yo, just like that. You can join me after this. That's fair. Twenty six. Victory. 
Bloodborne. Uh, actually, yeah, we can hop and call. And call with. Okay, here we go. A fitting tribute to the awoken queen. That works, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I got sorted. Feels terrible. Let me just get through this old content real quick. Oh no. Why you hurt me so? Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. In all things, chat. Excess in all things. Okay, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Ah. Please, yes. Ah.
Team. Sniper after kills are done. Yes, let's go. Okay. Sniper after kills done. Yes, perfect. I don't have to use the sniper anymore. Yay. This is a disaster. Still a disaster. Very much a disaster. Very much. This has a disaster written all over it. If he wants to, you know, hurt him a little bit more. Yes, there we go. Yes, yes. Two seconds left, and we actually start doing real damage. Insane. Twenty-two percent for Umbral Traces. Oof. Big yikes. The crystals. No oh, crystals in a long time. Crystals. Right. We're going to do this. Annihilation, look at this. Easy. Easy, bro. Yes. Alright, let's, let's get these kills, yeah? Time to, time to do. We're getting some umbral traces, so that's not too bad. Okay. Let's do that.
Okay. Evaporated. Actually about to complete this one. Crazy. Oh. We almost completed that. Almost. Insane. Now we got to do a little bit of arc more. Forty-two percent. I'll have to do another menagerie run. So Ken, um, you can join me for this next menagerie run, and then um, we'll do the contact public event and stuff like that. But, you know, you got to do contact stuff anyway first. So uh, go ahead and start your contact public event stuff, and then I'll just join you uh, when I'm ready. How's that sound? How's that sound? Oh, okay. Ogre. Sick. Chat, your boy is a little tired today. I've been tired a lot recently, actually. Hmm. I can't wait for things to go back to normal. I probably won't be as tired as much. Hopefully. You taste it? I can.
Yeah. Two bad ones. Two bad ones. Okay. Not super bad. Ended with 43%, 72% for super. I'm just gonna. Okay. Um I'm gonna actually go to the tower first. Turn in some engrams and then we'll go on from there. It's unfortunate I couldn't really get much from this. Uh, means to an end. Challenge is issued by the strong. Collect umbral traces by participating in heroic adventures, menagerie, crucible survival, crucible elimination, or trials of Osiris. Participating in these. And if it's 43%. Her for menagerie, it should be able to complete it with another menagerie run. Hmm, that's that poggers content right there. Let's teleport over here.
So, uh, Ken, uh, Neil and Jonathan just went to a bakery and then brought me pie. They, uh, they got it from Hot's Hut or whatever it's called. I was like, oh, cool. Thank you. Focus. It was super cool of them. Scanning biometric. Ah, <laughs> I'm kidding. You know you're authorized. You know you're authorized. Hey, you joined me. Um, I will get armor. All armor. There we go. Okay, uh, start recording now or what? Do I push it and hold it? Oh. No. No uh home. -huh. Okay, both fifty one. Glad they're not powerful gear or pinnacle gear. Just powerfuls. No more, no less. That should be almost done. And then for the prismatic thing. Next, we're going to be getting Umbral Discovery. And then Contact Specialist, Prismatic Transmutation, and then Blood into Stone. And then we work on rank 3. Okay. You're looking spry. Hey, heard you were up to no good out. What happened? Rumors saying sending portals opening up everywhere. Sometimes I think you're crazy. Let's do business. Let's see if I completed any triumphs. Absolutely not. Did I not kill the Taken Howler? Could have sworn I did. But okay. Okay, bud. Okay. That is fine, though. Uh, just take us.
<laughs> oh, it's a whole minute, really. Interesting. Light the way, warlock. <laughs> Step into the menagerie. Do you like my bed? Deep of Umbral Traces. Yes, sir, yes, sir. All three of us dead. Feels bad. Yes, die, yes. Now that you're warmed up, let's get to the rest, shall we? Hey. Oh, we got mockery. Six percent for umbral traces. So you get heaps of umbral traces from uh killing orange slash yellow bar enemies. <laughs> At least that's what it seems like. Oh pog. I hit though. Oh No. Oh, okay.
Oops. Ow. You almost have it, actually. Almost had it. Oops. Now will you consider living here upon the Leviathan? If you do, you must never return to the Dreaming City. Interesting. Interesting. So, for my lore fanatics out there, um, you just said a very interesting thing. And since I'm an Awoken, Callus knows that I've been to the Dreaming City. And that, like, awo most Awoken came from the Dreaming City. And he mentioned that, like, if you want to live upon the Leviathan, you are to not ever return to the Dreaming City. Interesting. Let me see you, you oh, I made it. Man, that is so cool. I love the lore. There you go. How's it going, chat? What y'all up to today? Other than watching me, I'm very thankful for. He just broke the shield. It's good. Y'all doing okay? Shield is back up. No. Need to break that shield, big fella. There you go, that's nice. Break that shield. Okay. Man. We're about to kill this one. Oh, what? That's dumb. This way. Eighty four percent. Oh, 
All right, chat. Let's do the thing. Let's go. Ha! 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 Oop, they started. There we go. I'm getting my super. I'm getting my super kills over and done with, bucko. And use the void craniums on the thing, on the bus. Then use your damage. Yeah. I should be almost done, actually. And I'm going to take you through the story content. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Which one are we missing, huh? Ah. Uh, I'm missing one back here. We got it. Ah, uh, yes. That was a little bit of lag there. That's not fair. Ah, of course. I didn't get the kill credit for that. I'm actually kind of mad. Probably would have completed it. I wouldn't have been dead. That sucks. Okay. Arkborn. And then we kill boss. We literally have to like, just participate. This will honor the okay, bud. Another like one of shadows. He was a Oh no, Ken. Now we go to bus. And that should complete it for me.
Then I take you into the story mission for this week, and then we do contact public event for the rest of the stream. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good. The main beat for every week until the story is done is to at least complete means to an end. Okay. We got a jackpot over here. I believe in you. Oh. I just raised myself. Oh, we kill him? Hey, hey, hey. is quick draw. Ew. That's not terrible. Let's move that. Okay. Interference, but I got to do next. Ooh, I'm track. Let's get to level rank 45. Getting there, chat. We getting there. Oh, right. Thank you for the host, homie. Do this. You came just in time for the story mission. Just in time for the story mission. Literally this just in time Let's go These of the light swarm the roots of the great tree Bring the seed and banish them once more Okay 
Welcome, welcome. The music. Can't wait to see where we get teleported in this time. The first two weeks have been interesting so far. And now we're in week three. Let's see what happens. Go bright. Oh no, Ken. Let's save you, buddy. Or can you just... Oh, you can just revive. Okay. Brilliant display. Perfect. No chat, we're not cheesing it. This is a legitimate strategy. Come on now. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. This must be the crystal encounter. There you go, Ken. Get it, homie. An anti barrier, yeah. One more crystal. Oh, there's a ogre? Yep, there's an ogre. Have a healing rift.
there's two ogres. Okay. First of all, no? Okay. This is such a cool space. Oh my gosh. And the music. Oh. Dusk blade? Oh no. Good way moving. Ooh, we did it. Good lord. God, it, this has been so cool. This construction is white. Not like the color, but the absence of color. An indistinct void overexposed sameness of a thing long dead the white of bleached bone of the traveler interesting this is a simple message eggshell the term you can just talk to her and hear the other messages and fragility you would expect the darkness sees the Traveler as something keeping us isolated from the outside world. It is a barrier we are meant to outgrow and break through. Speak to her again? No. Okay. That was really interesting and really cool. Very interesting and very cool. I'm major excited about the story. Super excited about the story and where it's headed right now. Um. Well, it, it, it's it, it's the same quest every week but it, it's a different story portion every week so it's not ex the same exact quest there's like new bits to it every single week and this is the third week and plus we get lore from completing it every week as well 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 11 more weeks to get through. So maybe we go to Titan and Mars and Mercury and all of them. So from what it seems like, every three weeks we're gonna go we're gonna be going to a different location. So that means Titan is probably next week. That's my prediction. Getting Titan next week. And then it'll be uh it'll be Titan for the next three weeks. And then it'll be Mars or Mercury for the next three weeks, for the weeks at for the three weeks after that, you, and then it'll be the last one, three weeks after that. I think that's exactly how it's gonna go. Which I find fine. It gives me something to do on Tuesday, every Tuesday, which I'm actually pretty glad with. Um, yeah, cause like, I I don't have to play throughout the week now since I'm already 1050 plus but uh, the Tuesday reset thing it's worth doing this is gonna be on a cycle every Tuesday we get something new well story-wise even though it's the same starting location, it, the ending location is very different, and I love that. It always changes. Uh huh. Yes. Can't get this yet. I'll save. Thank you. Thank you for the follow, Frosty. Means a lot, homie. Thank you very much. Means a lot. Hopefully you enjoy the content and everything that you see. Oh, that's your friend? Nice. Thank you very much, Bride's friend. Yeah. I need you alive, bro. Okay, for sure. Also, uh, hmm, I see you got that Twitch Prime. Uh, if you have Twitch Prime, you can actually support your favorite streamer that way by doing a free sub, technically. So instead of paying the four ninety nine like everybody else, you'd be able to sub for free every month. You get to sub to a streamer of your choice every month for free. But it's only once. So choose wisely. And if you enjoy me, I will be 100% honored if you were to use that sub on me. But you definitely don't have to. There are many other great streamers. But if you choose me, I am uh, quite satisfied with that. Um, questions about Hunter? Um, I know a few things about Hunters. Even though I'm a Warlock mine, I play all three. Uh, so what's your question, bud? What's your question? Let's see if I can answer it to the best of my ability. I'll do my best.
What is your question? For Leviathan? Well, a weapon specific um is like it, it for the, for the weapons it's not really class specific um it's just general weapons you would use in the leviathan itself so for the bath encounter you definitely want something like a shotgun but then when you jump into the middle you definitely want to have something long range to be able to break the crystals so have like a rocket launcher with you or a grenade launcher or like your, your your power ammo slot which is your third slot and then have like a shotgun or something for your second slot one with like maybe opening shot or rampage or something uh okay sounds good Ken thank you um and then for your primary Probably anything, any other thing you would do for damage. Thanks, Ken. Love you, bud. Um, for the dog encounter, you definitely want a shotgun or like something like really strong that'll do close damage. You don't want to use a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher there, specifically because um, you will kill yourself. It is possible. So, use a shotgun or something. Maybe something with trench barrel. Or like I said, opening shot, rampage, stuff like that. Um and of course your super. Uh I'll talk I'll talk about supers in a sec. Um and then for the gauntlet, you just want something you can let that can kill enemies fast. And maybe like an auto rifle or a submachine gun or something that can uh shoot the triangles proper. Um and then for uh, the final boss, you definitely want an auto rifle of some kind, depending on what room you're in. If you're inside the shadow room, you definitely want an auto rifle or a hand cannon of some kind. Specifically an auto rifle though when you have to shoot the skulls, um, and, but for anything else it, it's fine. Uh, once you get to damage phase though, you definitely want, um, literally anything that's strong with boss DPS. If you have, well it all depends on the exotics you have, but let, let, let's go over them actually. So exotic weapons, if you have Sweet Business, if you have uh, Izanagi's Burden, um, per Albert Perfected, Bad Juju, Arbalist, maybe. Um, if you got Cold Heart, uh, Telesto, maybe. Jotun, Ariana's Vow, even. Um, but the main DPS weapons you would you need and specifically want are power weapons. Weapons like Prospector, Darcy, Ward Cliff Coil, uh, Sleeper Simulant, Whisper of the Worm, Two-Tailed Fox, Black Ta uh, not Black Talon, uh, Thunderlord, Truth, Deathbringer even, Xenophage. Like th there's th anything that will do high damage like a rocket launcher or a grenade launcher or anything with precision. You can even use an auto rifle if you want to. Um, but yeah, that, that's that, that's good for boss damage. Like there, there's no specific weapon to use. You you just figure out and use what works. You know, like if you use what you're comfortable with, but then you also use weapons that are like good for DPS. Um. Yeah, like if if you haven't, well, most of these are world drops, and some of these you can get from Zer. This one's a raid drop. This one's for raid, and this one's a quest. This one's a quest. This is a 
you can, you can get this from Master Raul. Uh, this is a quest. You can't get this anymore. Raid drop. The rest of these are. Oh, this is this is a mission. But yeah, the the rest of these are like things you can actually get. But yeah, like don't don't sweat it about weapons too much. Just make sure you have a like a shotgun in your inventory. Make sure you got a, a decent sniper in your in, in your inventory. Specifically, a sniper with maybe um, opening shot, firing line, fourth times a charm, triple tap. Uh, and then for auto rifles you want something like ghost primus um for energy ones you want like things like uriel's gifts the number blackadin arc logic reckless oracle age-old bond gnawing hunger which is one you can get right now the easiest raid in my opinion is the leviathan then again, it's also because I've I've taught it. Like I, I've I've done it the most. Um No raid is truly easy. It all takes like group coordination, communication, and of course like player skill and knowledge. Uh so it's not something you can just like jump into and then knock it out real quick. There's Leviathan, Eater of Worlds, Spire of Stars, Crown of Sorrow. Scourge of the Past, which is on Earth. Let me show you. You got Scourge of the Past. You have... Last Wish, which is probably one of the best looking raids. Um, and then the most recent one, it came out with Shadowkeep, which is Garden of Salvation. None of these are easy. But none of these are exactly hard. It all takes just like I said, communication and um being able to work together. Being able to understand each other, you know? Yeah, like no no raid is truly easy. Raids are considered like, you know, the pinnacle like end game content, like dungeons as well. Um so yeah, like they're not gonna be like a strike where you can just like breeze through it. Not to say that you shouldn't do it. Raids are great. I I recommend everybody try at least one raid once. But you need a team of six, and of course, people that are patient enough to be able to teach uh, and walk you through it, which there are a lot of. It's just not everybody is like you know as patient you know so yeah I hope that answers your question same thing for the weapons What else do I want to do here? Also, if you're wondering about weapon rolls or anything like that, feel free to ask me about them. Ask me about what perks are good, what perks are good for your weapon, um, all of that. I am very much open to helping out new guardians and even veteran guardians alike. But if you are on PS4, I cannot play with you because I'm on PC. Unfortunately. You have any more questions, Frosty? Ask as many as you want. I die. No, I, I, I love, like, talking about all my knowledge for, for Destiny 2. I don't get to talk about it much. Because like normally a lot of people don't actually come to my streams. But for the few times they do, not a lot of people like ask questions. So I'm I'm really glad and thankful for the ones that do. So Frosty, I I, th I thank you. 
for taking the time and asking me some questions. I love that. Let me ex let me extend my knowledge to newer guardians. What do I want to do? I'll do some. Oh uh, no, I'm actually it's almost it's almost that time. So yeah. Okay. Bri, do you have any questions? Does anybody in chat have any questions? Keep me talking. Okay. I wonder if you heard anything of that I said then. I'm starting to get hungry, chat. I think I might have some uh, chicken, macaroni and cheese, maybe some green beans. And then I got a pie waiting for me afterwards, because uh, my friend Neagle9 and um, our other friend JoeFlo, that's his, that's his screen name, um, they came by and delivered a pie to me, just, just because. They were at a bakery and they were like, you know what, we're going to give Oteno a pie. And, uh, yeah, that's what they did. I have a pie waiting for me. And then after stream, I'm going to watch, uh, more of Demon Slayer. Because I finally decided to watch it, and it's incredible. I recommend, if you if you love anime, definitely start watching Demon Slayer right now. It's so good. Oh, you only have a group of three so far? That sucks. That, that's, that's unfortunate. Hopefully you can find three more. Maybe you can get, uh, Legacy and, and them to help you out. Maybe even Mystic. You might be able to help. Especially Legacy. I know she's done raids. And she has people that sh that can raid with her. Like Fatal and all of them. Pop them and ask. They're not busy. And then maybe you guys can like find a, a time together. And uh, you guys can run it. Alright, but I do have to end though. Uh, I am getting hungry and I want to watch my anime. <laughs> so, uh, uh. Okay, for sure. That's good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Soto Entertainment, so you can see this stream and many others like this. Um, follow my Twitter, which is at Soto Entertain M1. That way you can see when I'm going live and um for any schedule changes anything like that also um if you are on the twitch page on your computer uh you click on my name you are able to click on schedule and you'll see my schedule and the things that i have planned for this week um but if you want to see my links you scroll down i have a discord server i have twitter and youtube you can click on those and they will direct you to those discord will give you the link Twitter will direct you to my Twitter, and YouTube will direct you to my YouTube. Um, yeah, thank you, Frosty, for the follow. Thank you, Frosty, for the questions. And uh, thank you, Bri, for being here. Thank you, Ken, for support and, um, and playing with me today. But that is it for me. Love you all very much. And uh, let's see who's live right now, actually. Let's see. Who, who do we want to show some love to? Who's live right now? Let's see, let's see. Ah, thank you for gifting a sub to Ken. It means a lot, thank you very much. Enjoy your emotes, Ken.
Um, we will raid my friend Spath. He's playing Final Fantasy fourteen right now, uh, and he's farming mounts. So go give this man a follow. Uh, we set up the raid thing. One second, chat. A I N. Okay. All right. Stay in chat if you want to join the raid. Pretty sure he will greatly appreciate it. I'll give that man a follow. He's really funny. He's really cool. And uh, he likes Destiny too, but he's a huge Final Fantasy fourteen fan. So I'm the same love. Alright, and peace chat.